Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the stream. You guys are watching this on YouTube. Don't mind the awkwardness, it's just because I'm already on Twitch. But welcome back for another episode of our Mounts and Blades 2 Bannerlord run here. I honestly have forgotten what run this is, so I gotta go look. Hold on. It's been a while since we picked this game up. We're doing a lot of Baldur's Gate this week. Uh, yeah, we are on part eight, uh, part nine. Part eight was our last part. So, if you're watching this on YouTube, welcome back to the uh, welcome back to the series. And if you're watching this on either one, uh, hold up for just a moment while I get my uh, get my stream upload or updated here. Don't want people coming in thinking I'm playing Pokemon when I'm not. All right, there we go. And so we had just taken over um, the ca this first castle from uh, the Valandians. We just went to war with them at behest of uh, of our nation. Somebody else had proposed it, and I went along with it. And see, so we got another army over here that is currently going after this castle. We can go up and help them finish that off here. We do have one littler party. Um, raiding one of our villages, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna mess with them. The, I mean, we could go over and chase them away, but I don't know that it's really worth it. So we'll go ahead and take that prisoner with us. I don't want to leave them in this tiny castle, but uh, we're gonna end up giving this castle to somebody else. Um, say people that have uh, ownership on Sargot here will give it to the same clan. First, let's look at the garrison. They don't need that many troops. This is how this is how we got into the problem that we got in and fixed last time. Is we were leaving too many troops and especially too many elite troops in these garrisons, and it was bankrupting the realm. So we're gonna try to avoid doing that again in the future. We're gonna leave 50. And it's gonna be a range. So there's gonna be some. There's gonna be a few elite troops, but mostly it's gonna be, um, you know, some mid to lower tier. And in this case, I don't really have that many to leave. So I guess we'll go ahead and leave those 10 um, decent guys. And yeah, we'll leave some Imperial Archers to round out the ranks. That should be enough to defend the castle at first with the militia. You know, 175 should be plenty for um, defending it long enough for us to get there. Meanwhile, um, this army, it's not, it's not very big. So that's my big worry, is that um, if we don't rush over there, the Valandians could put together an army that could contest it. So if they are going to get attacked, I'd like to be over there, ready to help them out. And you see, they're, they're actually currently um, going after it, so we want to go help them finish that so they don't lose quite as many people. Plus, you know, we can... We can help them out, get get this done a little faster. Sergeant, you know them all. And we have to once we join, we have to mount and dismount. Otherwise, we don't get the actual speed. Oof, that hurt. Man, they did not make a very good choice here. This is the problem when other people are in charge of this. We don't even get ladders for this because we have these siege towers that they're pushing. I mean, I guess we could start trying to do this at least to try to limit some of the damage. Kill some of these archers on the walls. Honestly, though, we're probably not going to be able to kill the people that are doing the real damage, which are these guys up here. At least not enough to stop them from uh, deploying those. Tink, tink. Oh, I overshot him. There we go. To be fair, though, if they actually do get this over there before it gets shot down... Then it actually makes it really easy to get up. Oh, and they do have ladders over here. Okay, something. Oh, I should have killed 
that guy. Before he pushed the uh, thing over. So I shoot him down here. Oh, I shoot that guy. Leave that, leave that alone. Don't, no touching. Yeah, you can shoot him, you can shoot him below the shield. guys that don't have shields. Oh, nice! That was weird. It's their own guys shooting their own guys. I don't I don't understand. Shouldn't there be a second ladder here? Yeah, there is. Like, come on, guys. Let's get the second ladder up, shall we? Come on. There we go. Can we, can we get this one up? Here, you know what? I'll even need the charge. What the hell? Split your uh, how about no? Hey, uh, stop that, will you? Thanks. Good talk. Good talk, boys. Oh, that guy's out. So these guys are trying to get back to the ballista so they can keep sh shooting our guys. I'm like, uh, I would prefer you not do that, please. There we go. I'm like, nah, not, not, not like this. Oh no, I got shoved off. A lot of shield, a lot of, a lot of blocking going on here. Not a lot of offensive, a lot of defensive going on in these guys. There we go. Just gotta get behind them. That's, that's really the key. Rather you not open the gates. We want to close the gates. We want the gates open. Thank you. Come on in, boys. All right. I think I think the uh, the tower is fall or the uh, castle is falling. We got it. We done got it. Okay, so 15 of them escaped. That might be enough for them to get to do the uh, keep defense. I'm actually not sure. Two of them left. Two of them are apparently over here. Where'd they go? Why are you guys skulking? Nope, apparently not. We get the victory outright and get to take the castle. Hey, you're welcome. So this castle, we were a part of taking it, but we weren't the main part. So at this point, we don't get to immediately, well, we do get to take ownership of the castle because we are, you know, we're rulers of the kingdom, but we don't get to permanently retain the ownership. We do have to have a, a vote amongst all the clans in the kingdom of who gets to keep it permanently. Um, but the nice part is we do get to set things up here. So we can start by you know, putting the prisoners in here that we want and keeping the ones that we want to keep. Um, and the garrison. We get to manage the garrison, which is a big deal because we want to we want to dictate what goes in here and what does not. Getting the veteran sword sisters, a couple of these elite boys. And then sure. These guys are all fine. We want to keep the Sword Sister and the Veteran Archers, because those will eventually become uh, mounted troops for us. I'm trying to train those up. Those guys are fine, though. 
24, so we're still looking for more. Yeah, definitely the militia. All of the militia get to stay here. Uh, they can have the looter. Don't need the looter. Ten more, so I'll take. Um, take ten of our trained archers, and then we can manage the castle. We can we can put a little bit into it. We don't have a lot of extra gold right now, but we can dictate what they're building and well, you know in what order here. So they'll start with workshops. That's good. Um, then honestly, we want them to build the walls. Level two and then level three walls. That'll be up to whoever ends up owning owning this though. But we'll get them started. With that. Alright. And then we're out of here. So next up we can try to take the Orcs Hall if we want. 441 defenders is not that many for us. Um, we've got more than that in our army, and we can recruit on our way there. So I think that's what we do next. So if we look at Valandia, we hit them pretty hard in the last war. They are not nearly as strong as we are. Um, and they're already losing the war by quite a bit. They've actually inflicted more casualties than I expected, and they have... Quite a few of us prisoner. Um, but yeah. If we look, it's because mostly because they've lost two thieves now, two of their castles. And if we take Orcs Hall, then uh, this this fatigue is gonna start going up a lot. They do still have, you know, a few different things we can for us to take. So I don't know if we'll finish the war this time. It might it might require two more wars to finish off the Landia. But you can see already we're, you know haggling over who's going to get this. Um, so you can see the Imperial wants it. I would prefer to give it to somebody who's Valandian, but we don't have anybody that fits that bill right now uh, in the options here. So we'll just go with the Kingdom vote. You can see that this is one of our vassals from the Empire, and he doesn't have anything yet, so it makes sense to give that to him. It's not great because the loyalty is uh, going to be hurt by three um, because the the owner is not the same culture as the as the, the castle and the, the area. But that's fine. Um, the other thing we want to do is we do want to remember to give this um, Talia Castle over to the Wainwright clan. So we do that real quick. here and recruit some folks. We've got a lot of room in our party. We'll go ahead and force them to give us more recruits while we're at it. A lot of little parties over here. So the more of them that pile into the orc hall before we attack it, the more difficult that's going to be. But that's all right. And we'll go ahead and recruit some uh, some folks. So basically, we want to recruit the ones that cost the least in terms of um, in terms of influence. Also, those that give us good numbers. But really, those are all our those are all our options. We could recruit this one, but they're really expensive for just seventy four. So we're gonna leave them be for now. It only cost us forty six for this army. It's not bad. And we'll go ahead and uh, jump on in and. The, uh, so we did have two parties that stayed in there. So it's going to be a total defender count for them of 547. And they actually don't have much in the way of catapults before we get started here. 
Um, they're only going to have one, but their numbers are still too many. Uh, we haven't gotten most of our reinforcements yet. 710 versus 546 trying to climb uh, level 3 walls, even with just one catapult. It's too much, so we're going to make this a long siege. That way we get all of our reinforcements. And we don't have to take a bunch of needless casualties from catapults and stuff. Oh, nice. Bullseye. You know what? Why not? We'll take the Valandian crossbow. That hurt. Oh, whoops. That does hurt, though. So as we complete our um, siege or trebuchets, we want to actually pull them back into reserve, um, and we want to deploy them all at once because um, their their catapults get built a lot faster than our trebuchets do, and so they'll just rip them apart. But if we put them four v four. Once they're all done, then our trebuchets will win pretty easily. The trebuchets are more powerful, but um, they just don't uh, they just don't do well, you know, one before, as it turns out. Who knew? Also, uh, that castle that we just took, um, I don't know if it's the... Okay, yeah, that castle that we literally just took is now under siege, but that's fine. We didn't leave much there. Um, and we're already, you know, a good portion of our way to taking this. So, you know, if they take it, then we'll go take it back. It's just the way it goes. We'll take, uh, we'll take that guy. And this shouldn't take too long. Another, another day to get the walls down. And then we can just waltz right through. We've got double the numbers, and we still got another 130 on the way. I mean, a lot, and a lot of their army is militia. Okay, and we're good. So at this point, we want to, ideally, we want to do the attack during the day. It's harder to do all of this at night. Um, which is for me, visually, at least, it's harder to do combat at night. Uh, we'll make our last preparations for upgrades. See if there's anybody we want to take with us. We'll recruit all the, the top guys. Might as well. And then we will lead our assault. And in we go. We'll just put everybody into one group because that's simpler. I mean, it can be more effective to have people in different groups and push them around, but this is fine. Um, have everybody go here, so that way we can kind of split between the two. Hey guys! And uh, I used to kind of just run in and start causing mayhem, but often that leads to just to me losing a bunch of uh, HP unnecessarily. Um, my approach that I kind of like to do is uh, is go up and start by shooting anybody that's on the wall, but I don't really see anybody on the walls. So we'll just, uh, you know, we'll shoot them from here. Okay. Shoot. But yeah, I'll just wait for my army to make their way on in. I'll maybe lead the charge, but, uh, but yeah, there's not, not a whole lot of point to me being here you know, way before everybody else, because I'm just going to take a bunch of unneeded damage. Though, so usually the guy that's out here by himself, that's a lot of times their leader, not that, not in that case, but sometimes they're fine, but that's the, the guy, if they do have a, a hero, like a champion. Still not using the right terminology. The uh, companion. Plan, you know. A lot of times you'll find him on his own. 
so we're getting a little clogged over here. I'm gonna try to unclog it. Get some kills. I can see a lot of, uh, a lot of cross filming in Valandia. That's kind of their thing. If I had one central theme to Valandians, it's that they do, they do a lot of cross -fill. Hey, there's the guy I was looking for. That was the guy in charge. Like I said, a lot of times he's running around by himself. Let's see if we can mow down some of their reinforcements before they even get over here to attack my guys. And so you can see now they're, some of them are running. About this point, I really do want to focus on the guys that are running. They're uh, oftentimes the easiest to kill, but also um, I don't want too many of them to get back to the keep. But I don't want to have to do the, uh, the keep defense. Thing. Those battles are very annoying. So I'm mainly focusing on people that I see are running. A lot of times if I go in here and I make a few big swipes, it'll actually intimidate a lot of them into running. And so then I'm like, alright, well, we're gonna run, and then it's time to go uh, take out all the guys that are running. There are a lot of them right now. See if I can thin the herd a little, and then I'll try to set up a... Uh... What's funny is those guys are not running. They're over here all the same. Let's try to set up a chokehold here, and Kill all the guys that are running. Oh, that guy made it out. Don't worry, I got him. That's my job. Since I'm the only one mounted, I can run down all the guys that are clean. We're trying to gang up on that poor guy. Not on my watch. And where do you think you're going? Four hundred. Horse is dealing almost two hundred. We got a lot of reinforcements. Lost 14 so far. That that is not. I gotta be honest. That's not bad. Okay, these guys are chasing down people that are trying to get away. Oh, I missed. Come on. There we go. So the fact that they're starting to run back means there's nobody else over there. The AI knows where everyone is. I don't, but they do. And they're running out. There we go. So we can see uh, nobody made it out, actually. We prevented anybody from making it back into the keep. Good. We only lost 14. Does the 18 that got wounded, they'll recover. Got a couple prisoners from that, from the parties that decided to stay. Yeah, we can let all those guys go. Um, so our moral, our, our party morale is really high, so we can show some mercy here. I don't got to pillage or devastate. Hold everybody back and say, hey, you know, good job. Now relax, will you? So we do also have uh, over here, um, this army's trying to defend, who, uh, defend and beat whoever is trying to take the castle. So we can try to make it over there in time to help with that, or at least avenge them. They do end up losing. Um, we'll see what's over there. But for now, let's take care of all of this. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and leave all of the named prisoners in here. Uh, this is going to be... We're going to set up a little bit of a bigger garrison here. 
because it's a main city. Not a huge one, mind you. So we're still not trying to bankrupt the realm, you know? Because, yeah, we don't need 167, especially with all of our mounted troops. They don't get the mounted guys. Uh, we'll give them all the... Many of the elite ground guys we can give them will leave here. A good opportunity for us to uh, leave a lot of the guys that we aren't converting into um, mounted troops. And then redistribute our mounted troops to try to make as many of our troops um, into cab as possible so that our army moves fast. Fastest like me. All 45 of those, uh, those boyos, the crossbowmen. Yeah, that's a pretty good garrison. I think we're good there. We'll recruit some troops while we're here. We'll go into the tavern district. Be another Imperial companion. Got room for one more, so yeah, we'll take him. Your health, stranger. Don't even really care what your stats are. You're Imperial, so we'll take you. We're 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 on the cusp. We're gonna be taking a lot of Imperial um, guys soon. So yeah, we really don't want any of those. So yeah, we'll ransom them all. Get some moolah out of it. Speaking of moolah, let's do some trading. Let's see, first things first, we'll flip through our companions. We know we got at least one new one here, the guy we just recruited. He, he'll be able to use some of this stuff. Get him all kitted out before we sell everything. I suspect we're about to make some good gold out of all this, though which is uh, sorely needed. We were one of the richest round, uh, were one of the richest kingdoms in all the realms. Uh, not the case at the moment. Let's see. So this guy got good one handed, good athletics. His writing is okay, but it looks like he's more built for ground combat. His crossbow was also pretty good, which is interesting. Um, so yeah, we can give him, yeah, we can give him the, uh, decent crossbow here. And then I think the next highest is just one-handed. So yeah, we'll just leave him with a good one-hander. I um, and a shield. Some bolts. Let's see if we got a better one-hander for him. Yep. And then I don't know... I don't know if we have any banners. We don't for him right now, but that's okay. So we're gonna we're gonna save that by hitting done, so that so that those changes will stick. Let's take a look. Is anyone else? Okay, so we got another one that we had recently recruited. We have not kitted out yet, so let's do that before we sell everything. Move forward. I've been adding a lot of companions lately, so I wouldn't be surprised. If there's even a third one. And I'll see for him. He's definitely a rider, so we can give him the best horse we can find. Put him on horseback. Because he is riding at 110. So we could actually try to find him like a legendary steed or something. But I don't have one right now. And he is best at pole arm. And not bow. So we're going to give him something to throw. Um, but we're also going to give him the best pole arm. Which is going to be that one. We'll also give him a one-hander. So in case he you know, needs to go into close combat. You see he's got a decent one-hand as well. And this is dual wield. So we can uh, give him a shield. And um, we don't currently have any 
throwing implements. So we can buy him one. Uh, we'll just buy him the, the horseman javelins. That's fine. Okay, so that's him. Everyone else decently equipped? Yep. Okay. So we're good there. And then we will go ahead and sell everything. Let's see if they have enough for all that we have. They do. And then we'll do some trade goods too. Another 10,000. We can try to get through trade here. Get our trade skill up a little bit while we're at it. There you go. There's there's a boon to our uh, coin purse. It's grapes, it's beer. Do some trading back. We've got a skill point to allocate here. Let's go ahead and put it in. Um, scouting is kind of what we're investing in now. All right. Now, with that, we'll start heading over here, see if we can get there in time. Apparently, that's the fastest route. Just go out and around. Okay, they won on their own, which is good. Let's see how many prisoners they have. It doesn't say. So there's a bunch of prisoners in there though. Interesting. Okay, so next most obvious one to go is to prevent and then uh, Drephand Castle. Um, and then we got them kind of cornered into these last three. You can see eight, yeah, 89, so you can see how fast that went up. Once it gets to 100, we can choose to win the war and get a bunch of gold, but we don't have to. We can, uh, we can keep putting the pressure on. It's only until we get towards the 100 that we risk losing the war, potentially. Um, also, you know what? Let's see... I don't know how many that castle has to defend. But I think I think maybe we um, maybe we go after the castle first and then come back down to the town. Yeah, because that's got 800. We can maybe build a little bit on our way up. That one's only got 300. So we do some recruiting, and we can force all these guys to give us basic recruits to fill out our ranks here. Start training them all up. Oh, the Gilliman. I guess that's one of the smaller clans. Probably from Batania that we destroyed. Also, if there are any parties that are particularly small, like, I mean, most of them actually, we can let them go for now, because we're just gonna take the castle. We'll let them grow and then uh, come back to us when they're a little bit more ready to fight. Plus, they can run around and skirmish the other um, the other little parties. And it's not too dangerous when we release them in a big group like this, because then, you know, they're not likely to get outflanked and outmaneuvered. castle. We besiege him. So we can see this is the level one. Um, so we can look and see when we're done with our siege camp. If they don't even have one catapult up, which nope, they don't. Just barely. 97% of the way there. Um, and we outnumber them so much we can just go straight into the assault. Um, we'll lose some of our troops. My guess is probably... 20 to 30, somewhere in there. 
But, um, I mean, it's going to save us a lot of time. Which right now, that's more important. Because we're trying to close out this war. So the ladders are going to be out on the edges here. So we're actually, I'm going to see if I can't bring us all out here. It's going to be rough. I'm going to have to go around, but that's okay. We'll go over here. See the uh, ladders are up here. So I'm going to try to put up both ladders as my army starts to make their way around. to be here yeah oh, okay no leave that alone well, i got one of the ladders up this is gonna be rough though because i'm up here all by myself don't want to be here's what i'm gonna do for this one this is gonna be a little different I'm gonna go try to find a uh, good staging ground over here. Okay. Yep, this is perfect. And I'm just gonna train my ar my, my archery right now. Just gonna shoot them in the knees if they got uh, they've got shields up. Shoot them right in the back or in the head. If not, and I'm just gonna get lots and lots of arrow practice here. Blink. Blink. You'd think they would come up and do something about this, but apparently not. The game's just not set up for that, apparently. Like, we don't we don't know how to fix this issue. We're just gonna keep uh, our guys are just gonna get keep getting hit in the back of the head. Clearly there's no way to remedy this. What are my guys doing? Cut them down. Hello? Team? I mean, I guess I, we could just have me sit here and just hitting them in the back of the head forever. That's not a bad strategy. So eventually I'll run out of arrows. Gotta come over and refill. There's an, uh, an infinite arrow barrel right there, so we're good. All the arrows I could ever want or need. So our guys are finally trying to put up the ladders here. So I'll start trying to aim for the guys that are going to be over there trying to disturb them. You see, there, uh, some of their ranged guys are trying to shoot me, but they don't have a great angle for it. Where I have a great angle on all these guys. You see, my guys are starting to get up on off the ladders and up in here. Just making them all react.
quite one shot, one kill, but almost, almost one shot, one kill. That guy just happened to turn. Get his shield up just in time. That's funny. I should be getting lots of training points in the pro, but I, know, I haven't seen many skill point increases. I think I was at 200, and that last one put me at 214. They're like, well, yeah, you're shooting fish in a barrel right now. It's not worth skill points. This does not take skill. Sure it does. See, look, I just missed. 215. It's like, fine. I am convinced I could be doing much more with my, uh... Oh, these guys are over here. That's where some of those ghost rats are coming from. They're really far away, though. I would love to shoot that guy and have him fall over the, uh... That guy's trying to shoot at me, but I'm a little better than you are. Sorry. Where are you? What are you doing, man? Hey, let me get you out of your glitch. He's moving around too erratically. Can't hit him. There we go. No more glitchiness for you. Alright, back to our regularly scheduled slaughter of the guys in the, in the barrel. Trouble establishing a foothold over here. Shoot him right in the knee. Basically, all with my bow. Funny. I really should just go down there and break up the mob. Let's see. We've established more guys over here, I see. on the ladder over here. Get him unstuck. Yeah, I just totally sidestepped my arrow. So salty. Now, 
shots coming from. Hey, we finally got our foothold over here. Shots are coming from. These guys are a lot closer though. I don't gotta eat quite as high. Headshot. How far is that guy gonna go before he stops? playing Hawkeye this battle. That's my whole plan. So this is apparently where the other ladders are. And they're having trouble getting a uh, foothold there as well. Let me help them out a little. Wow, that guy ran right in front, right in the right time. Perfect timing for that shield to go by. could have finished that faster with my uh, with my axe but that's okay and we got that elite horse out of that too which is nice show mercy again and let's see I think now's a good time to establish a new plan here we can give them um, Rappian Castle and the Orcs Hall A new Valandian clan. <clears throat> I said go that that new guy that uh, had all the riding skill, but uh, he didn't have an elite horse for him. Let's see. Yeah, I think it was this guy. Yeah, bro, we got your horse. And here, take the slightly better harness too for him. Before I forget, we'll go to the dungeon, take those guys with us. Again, we're not going to leave them with that many troops. But see, we only left about 50 troops in that smaller castle. It did exactly what we were hoping it would do, which was lasted long enough for the castle defenders to defend it long enough for one of our armies to get there. So that was, I mean, that was perfect. That was exactly what we wanted. Give them that guy and some crossbowmen. Perfect. We'll leave a little bit of gold here. They're about done with that, so that's perfect. And then their workshop's are already level three. So yeah, I think uh, this is good action. Those grounds, seed workshop, and 
Pro Collector in Barracks. Perfect. All right, so now the Rapid Castle and Orcs Hall we're gonna give to one of our Galandian companions. It just happens to be that guy. He's been with us the longest. Peace to you. Oh, whoops. So, Drepin Castle is going to be the Loud Clan. They be loud. And then we'll also uh, give the Orcs Hall to them whilst we are at it. Actually, see, he gets his own party now, but also he gets his own clan. So I think they start at clan tier one. If we look, so we can look at the loud clan. Yeah, so they start off at clan tier two. They already have some nobles, and they'll start growing on their own. We can actually uh, there be some horses here. Get some horses. While they're here, get some of our upgrades completed here. So yeah, we've successfully um, allocated all of our Valandian um, Black Clan. Did we give another... Did we give anything else to the Black Clan, or is it just the one they have? They do. They have Turby Castle. And, yeah, that, that's fine for them. Because you, generally two fiefs is kind of the goal. I want everybody to have, like, like one castle, one township. It's kind of the goal. The Frostbeard Clan only has two castles. That's because they're Sturgeon. We really have not taken many Sturgeon lands yet. Because Sturgia is the next biggest. But worth noting, we have a rebellion going on here in Sionin, which is one of the capitals that we want um, for our clan. So we might see about going over there and taking that after we're done with the Valandians. So we've got to decide, is this... Are we trying to kill the Valandians here once and for all? We've got four more structures we have to take. Though this army appears to be heading for this castle. So they might they might take the castle for us, but we've still got three townships we have to take. The question is, will we lose enough that we get to a hundred? I think we can do it. I think we can do it before we get to a hundred. Um, so we're not gonna give them peace. We're gonna try to finish them off in this war so that the Valandians don't come back. And that's a really big win for us, because then we've got nothing to the west of us that is threatening our kingdom. Well, at least not the, the main part of our kingdom. These are kind of out on an island, so if somebody goes to war with us and attacks these, we can try to go down there to defend it, but there's not a lot we can do. But this way, there's never any threat coming from the west. We've got everything on the west here, and we can start pushing our way east. So it's very advantageous for us. So we're going to start with uh, Prevend. And we're going to go ahead and first we'll top off our cohesion. But then we're going to see if maybe there's anything we do want to recruit. At this point it's a numbers game. We don't want to recruit any parties that are too small. So we want to let them go, you know, grow and do their own thing. Um, but we'll go ahead and we'll take um, them. They're pretty inexpensive and they're their numbers are good. Um, yeah, we'll leave everybody else alone for now. It's 827, though, so this is going to be a bit of a uphill battle. We've only got a couple of tiny parties in here. So it is mostly their army, which uh, you can see 110 of those are footmen, 79 of those are recruits. 
really not much. There's not there's not much strength there. There's just a lot of numbers, uh, which can you know it it does matter because uh, when we're sieging, we don't get a favorable um, number of recruits in those numbers. It, it favors the defenders. So ideally, we do want to outnumber them as much as we can. So we can maybe try to bring a couple of these parties in. Uh, we'll try and bring three of them with us. So we get a little bit more strength of numbers. Uh, no. That won't be happening. Yeah. And again, they've got, they've got so many numbers. We're going to long siege it so we can take out the walls. Because, so, yeah, we're not going to try to climb the walls. Plus, they have one catapult already up by the time we finished. And again, you know, we've got those parties on the way. Hi, Gurney Link. What are you doing? You should be in a good girl. Nah, yeah, we don't really need the footmen. We're not that desperate for uh, recruits. Could definitely use the more food variety, though. Definitely on the list of things to do is get more food. Another one of the babies are ready for some guidance. So you can see they've got all four of their catapults up. We'll get our fourth trebuchet here. We'll release the other three out of reserve. And you'll see these trebuchets will knock out. Oh, wow, that was perfect timing. Um, instantly knock out two of them. There goes the third. There goes the fourth. And you can see all of our trebuchets are still in good shape. So, like, 4v4 is no problem. But the, the, cat, the catapults get built way faster than the trebuchets. So if you don't pull them back into reserve, it, it, they really do get shredded. But uh, with this, we get to take these walls down pretty quick. Yeah, it'll be done before the end of the day. And there we go. So basically what we're looking for is both cat both walls down and no active catapults. This one's 85%, so not done yet. And then we'll just kind of do one run through for upgrades and recruiting and all that. Sure, we'll take the crossbowman. You can afford. Right, because everybody you recruit out of your prisoners does lower party morale by one. So in these numbers, it's not worth it to take them in mass. But anybody that's, you know... I, I usually will take level 4 or higher recruits. That guy was level 3, but that's fine. Alright, and we'll lead our sultan in. And again, we'll have a couple of... Uh, couple of main leaders here to add into the mix. And let's see, where are our wall breaches? There's one there. So yeah, we'll just we'll just stay where we are. On them now! Command our guys to charge. See now we've got some uh, we've got some guys up on the walls that we can take out. So I'll try to take a position behind one of these so I at least have a little bit of cover. Then yeah we'll just try to Shoot them down. Kill some of these ranged guys. in there. We can actually go take a look because it looks like some of our army went over here. A bunch of guys just standing up here. Well, the deal is with that. What are you guys doing? Ah! Yeah, 
Yeah, this is, uh, this is clogged, but we'll see if we can make our way up through here. Excuse me, pardon me. Coming through. Trying to, trying to get this unclogged for a while. Guys, break their lines. Let's go. Make our way on into the city. Don't let them bottleneck you. Oh my gosh, I am stuck. Really? Back it on up. There we go. Ow. Yeah, we lost a lot of damage. We're getting stuck in that uh, wheelbarrow thing there. Lost a lot of health. How did they kill you? Well, there was a wheelbarrow. And I have a bottleneck over here even worse. Yeah, and I'm down. I had a feeling that was going to happen. I think we, we breached on the left side, though. So I think our odds are good to get in here. The problem is that they have a lot of numbers. And right now, it seems to be favoring them. You can see in the recruiting here. Where we only get to have a certain number. Ours goes up to 108. Theirs goes up to like high 100s, low 200s, somewhere in there. We'll see when they get their reinforcements here. They're down to 106. Yeah, it goes back up above 200. So you can see when the numbers are similar, the numbers always favor them. So yeah, we're losing a lot here. In, well, not in comparison to what they're losing. And now, it seems like most of theirs guys are weaker. And we seem to be having a nice job getting into there. That was a rough one for me, just because of the layout. I shouldn't go in on the right, because uh, that one is clogged a lot worse. And yeah, I just got screwed over by that wheel barrel thing. I was just stuck in the stuck in there, just getting wailed on by the archers, and one of the polearm dudes was slapping me around. Uh, this time we'll pillage, because I, you know, I don't want my party morale to go too low. Put it back up at 100. We'll claim it this time around. I lost my generous trait, apparently. Oh well. Of this, I do not care very much. So again, we get to restructure the garrison. A lot of our guys are injured, not just me. Though I do get 50% uh, of my health back even after going to zero, so it's good. My uh, medicine is pretty high. I heal up fast. But we are going to leave them quite a few groups. Um, pretty much all of our all of the ground troops we can spare. So we're not, you know, immediately trying to train into mounted uh, combatants. We're going to give to them. And even maybe some of the ones that we are, but for the most part, we're going to try to keep a hold of them. Let's see. So we still want to be quick in the field. That's the goal. We also, we don't need to leave huge garrisons. Um... Because uh, I, I feel like stuff over here is not going to get attacked as much. And we do still want to keep our gold trending in the positive here. If that uh, garrison and party expense gets too big, then uh, we're going to be in trouble. At the end of the day, though, this shouldn't be our garrison. Because we're going we're gonna to give this to somebody. Um, so let's see. Go to the dungeon. 
You know, we can go ahead and ransom the prisoners at this point for the gold. I'm not too worried about them coming back at us. We're, we're gonna finish off uh, Valandia here. So it's fine. We'll, uh, we'll ransom them all. Get a whole bunch of gold. We do keep uh, five of the ones we want to recruit. And speaking of recruiting, the tavern district, there's nothing to recruit there. Do some trading. Make some big money from some trade goods here. Let's buy up some food. Fish is like the only one. Fish and grain, we don't really need much of. We'll take a little bit of grain. Uh, mainly we'll take the beer. We already have. We've already got olives, and grapes. We don't have any butter. We're just gonna eat the uh, the high price for the food we don't have, so we can have the variety bonus. I don't love it, but I want the morale bonus. Party size exceeded. That's not gonna be a problem. We're going to redistribute our troops here. Fill out our companions' parties. We really should start recruiting, because we've got enough room for an entire additional party. At this point, we'll let some of these smaller parties go and regrow. Oh, actually, all of them, except for us. So, let him go. All right. So we got another army over here. Trying to corner this little party. I don't think they're fast enough, though. We are not either. We are not going to be able to keep up to those guys. Even these guys are probably too fast. 2.4, yeah. Not happening for us. Go in and buy... Well, nope, we don't want any of those. are going to go and recruit our um, as many troops as we can from these little villages on our way over to the next township. So I thought we had army that was coming over to attack castle, but I guess they either got defeated or something. Oh, it might have been them. So you can see these guys are much smaller than we are. And they're a little faster. They're not they're not way faster. Actually, no, we're a little faster than they are. I take it back. Problem is, um, we really don't want them to get into the castle. That's the main focus here. If they get into the castle, then we really don't even want to attack the castle at that point. So that's fine. We're gonna come over here. Don't really want to attack the villagers. I'm gonna actually wait for the army to leave the castle. And then I want to put myself between the castle and the army. The problem is I don't really want to let this army go and just wreak havoc back in our area. So. I think I'm going to actually chase down 
that army. Because we are just just a slight bit faster than they are. Uh, about the same speed, but once they hit the forest, we will catch up to them rapidly. Plus, uh, we have an army to the north, so... Yeah, or, or just the party. Just this little 80 party will initiate with them. It's been a while. I don't want to fight them at night, though. Um, let's see if we can... Oh, oh no, that party is going to get eaten alive. One of our hills. One of us. So, you know what? We're going to fight it anyway. On my it's not super dark. Dang, see, we're getting almost 300 to 1. Or 3 to 1. 300 to 1 would be ridiculous, but... Yeah, we should be able to run through these guys pretty quick. There is a lake or a river here. That's so kind of a bummer, but it's going to slow down our cavalry a little bit. What just happened? Ow. Any red, but yeah, see, there you go. It's gonna be mostly green. Some of those range guys will take out one or two of my guys, sure. But it's a, it's a lot of a lot of arrows flying at the guys. No casualties. But I didn't even really look because it didn't matter. But yeah, like they have very little calves. So they're gonna struggle to uh, you know, struggle against my heavy cavalry army. Here. I mean, if we could do every fight in the open field, this is how I how we do it. Um, but you know, at this point, we're wanting to take castles and townships. At this point in the game, so almost every fight is a siege fight, which means we don't get to access all of these horses we have but on occasion we do get to we do get to track down a big army like we just did and i mean big is not necessarily the word for this one 300 is not a huge army but. so they got another 84 or 83 over there Mostly recruits at this point, so we've made it to their, uh, their really weak um, reinforcements. So now it should be all green at this point. I don't even really have to swing my axe at this point. I just run these guys over with my horse for the most part, and then I'll take them out. And they're down to one. Nope, they're down to eleven. So where are the other guys? Wherever they are, they're fleeing. There's one. Tink. You prisoner. And we'll go ahead and go up to, the, we're so close to the city. We'll go ahead and go up here and do some more trading and recruiting. Yeah, 
no, that's fine. We'll leave that alone. Uh, the dungeon, on the other hand. Look at all those guys we took. We will uh, release them as well. Take those eight. We can recruit from there. And we'll trade some more stuff. And, you know, we'll take the horses. See if there's anything else we want to buy. Low rate for fish, but we got plenty of fish. Plenty of grain. Take some of the clay. Now we'll make our way down to the castle. That was kind of taking those guys out of the picture. Keep on recruiting. Got to grow this army back up. We dismantled it because we were kind of in trouble financially, but now we're doing a little better. Which, at this point, I think we're going to create... See, how many more clans do we want to create for Volandia? Let's see we got. Do we have any more Volandians? We do, we have one. So yeah, I think... I think we create uh, the Black 2 clan here. Um, Ahid. And I think we give her Pravind, um, Hongard, and Galend. And then we give um, give this to um, the Wainwright clan. And then there are a couple more down here that are Valandian. Uh, that one is Imperial, but this one is Valandian. And then this is also the Landian, so we can maybe look for one more later. But I think we can actually go ahead and create, yeah, that that second black plan now here, because we're gonna give that to Preven. We're gonna give Preven to them, I should say. Um, so let's. I await your... So you can see, we can try and name it the Black Clan. That's not available, because we already named uh, another clan Black, so we're going to have the Black 2. Black 2, Electric Plugaloo? No. Let's go get her a castle. Heard a couple more. We already took the hostile action recently, so we can't do that again. And we can see here, this one's got uh, 379. It's not, it's not a ton, but it's, it's uh, still a pretty... Decent garrison for a castle. Um, so 65 of those, though, are recruits. Okay, not a whole lot of elite troops there. 43 are going to be in, maybe, from this party. I want to try to let the party out. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't think I'd get there in time to help them win that. So, yeah. It's unfortunate. She, uh, she jumped out and got caught by some of these parts. Probably, maybe... It wasn't the best place for me to dump her off there, but that's okay. She'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure that out later. So yeah, I can see she got taken captive. Sorry, it's my bad. All right, so for this one, yeah, we're gonna have to long siege this one too. This is level three walls, and these guys already have a catapult. Maybe I've. Yeah, they almost had two catapults before we finished, but that's fine. 
Lost my generous trait. Huh? Is that again, or is that the same same loss? Do some recruiting there. not been paying attention to the uh, to the Pokemon uh, that have been popping out in the chat. That's my bad. See, we got a launcher that just popped in there, though. Let's see if we can grab that one. What did I miss? A Raticate, a Swine Up, a Bounce Suite, a Bonsley, something else, I'm sure. So yeah, they're still wanting to give us peace, but I'm not really interested in that right now. I'm trying to finish you guys off here. I'm trying to get you out of the game. So I'm gonna stick with it for now. Launcher, let's go. So yeah, these guys are trying to surrender, but uh, no. No, you, you, uh. Don't worry, you guys won't have to starve. Because we're about to assault. Oh, we'll take that other army in to help us. Sure. We're good with that. Get some extra reinforcements right at the last second. Don't mind if I do. So see, we have such a numbers advantage. We get 200 at the start and they get 120. So yeah, this one's much more favorable for us. And you know, I'm gonna go ahead and go in this time. Just gonna try to not get uh, caught up too much like this. Maybe a little bit, but not, you know. Ooh. There we go. There's, there's some good kills. And again, most of these guys are pretty basic, so I think uh, it is going to be a massacre. But mostly my, my focus at the start here is just to try to break up the bottleneck here and get my guys in. trying to take out a few of these guys so that my guys can break through and then chase down the guys that are running. such a rate that their, uh, their reinforcements are coming out in droves. Uh, some of those guys are going to make it at least one. I killed the other three, though. Oh, no. Retreating in droves. 
retreating faster than I can kill them. Not now, though. Now I got a good bottleneck here. We killed almost all of them. I gotta kill enough so that they don't get the opportunity to do the keep defense battle. That's my goal. So they got 12. So I don't think that's enough. Yeah, no, nope, we win. I haven't had to see one of those yet. At some point, I'm sure enough of them will escape. They'll have to show you guys that. But I'm totally good not having to do it. It's really annoying. Hey, we got a standard of wrath. Cool. Um, increased melee damage for one of our ground guys. There you go. So we take the castle. We will show mercy. Yeah, we can take that hit for now. We'll take the castle. And, you know, it's kind of a rinse and repeat. We'll take all the prisoners with us because it's a castle. We don't need to leave them here. We'll uh, restructure the garrison so that it doesn't eat all of our mounted troops. Give them our uh, non-mounted troops that we've been training up. Which uh, are not plentiful at the moment, but... We'll be able to give him some. Got a lot of a lot of crossbowmen. There you go. And get them started with their castle. We'll give them 10k to start. They've already got that built up. Um, yeah, they can finish the Siege Workshop. That'll be done soon. We'll have them do regular workshops, gardens, training fields, Militia Grounds, Toll Collector. That should be fine. The rest will be up to, uh, to their leader to decide. Next up, real easy, we'll just go walk on over here. Take that out. See, this one's got 667, which uh, is quite a bit. So let's see if we can't um, hurt some help here. You can see some of these parties have been able to grow a bit. And we'll probably take that march just through the last uh, two here. In the meantime, go ahead and redistribute some of our troops here. Get their ranks filled out. And when I just do this, I've got it ordered by tier, so it's going to put the top tier guys in their army so that my uh, my other um, parties always have the top tier guys and then I'm training the lower tier ones. So yeah, a few of those parties slipped in here, but that's fine. It's not gonna be enough to defend it when we got reinforcements on the way anyway. And see, they already start off with three. Now they have four and they're getting to put some in reserve. So this is definitely gonna be a long siege. It's going to be a very long siege, in fact. It's going to give us the opportunity to do some recruiting. So what I have to do is I have to decide how many of these do I really want to keep and how many do I want to recruit. I, I wouldn't mind recruiting some of these guys, but the rest of them I don't really even want to recruit. And they're not really worth enough to keep as prisoners. So let's toss them out and I'll at least get to maybe recruit those five guys. Not maybe, I will get to recruit those five guys by the time we're done with all of this. Nope. We still do not get peace. We are we are taking you out. Let's see, what's our war exhaustion at right now? 55. So yeah, we got plenty plenty of room to finish this. Water Gall had a baby. Another another niece or nephew for us. Our clan grows. And 
Let's see, we already got two of them. More to come. Okay, that one party, somehow they got they got hit to where they're now down to 47. It's unfortunate, but. Okay, so now that we've got all four of ours ready to go. So you can see right away they do have some in reserve, but they do not have to rebuild. Um, so they can they're getting to auto redeploy those. But even so, our trebuchets are still powerful enough to out to outperform them, even when they're getting to fast deploy them. See, our, our trebuchets took some more damage, though. They're a little bit more damaged than normal, but it's really not a big deal. Three. Sure, why not? We'll upgrade to some wildlings. The wildlings. Those bloody wildlings. Okay, so we've got both the walls down, but I want to wait till daytime to really uh, do the assault here. So there you go. Ooh, we got some more points in engineering. That's good. So this is going to improve our our build times and the damage we do and their accuracy and all that. But yeah, at this point, the game is a little bit repetitive. It's a little bit rinse and repeat. You know? It's, so it's, it's, I'll be honest, probably not the most entertaining thing for me to uh, stream. It's <laughs> It's like, oh, he's, he's doing that same thing again that he just did, like, five times in a row. But, I don't know. It's kind of fun. I, I enjoy it. It's, uh, it's cathartic for me. It's like, uh, it's like my own version of, um, of the little, uh, what do you call those little things that, uh, that monks do, I forget, it's like they, they where they rake the sand, the, the sand garden, I don't know what you call it, but it's my own version of that, it's very zen, cutting through swaths of the landings, it's very zen, the zen garden, that's what it is. I was talking to one of my gamer buddies once, and I was like, I don't understand why I love playing Stardew Valley so much. I'm just creating the same exact uh, farm over and over again. I never even really change it. Like, I always do the same farm, but for some reason, I just enjoy it. It's relaxing. It's like, well, yeah, it's cathartic. It's your version of the Zen It's like, oh, okay. That makes sense. I like that. And this is, this is my version of the Zen Garden right here. Running down old tired Galandians and taking them out. Because I'm the one who should be coward. And I will. Part of it, though, also is, you know, you get, as you do it more and more, you get better and better at it. And, you know, it feels nice to be good at something, you know? Even if it's, uh, even if it doesn't get you a lot, I mean, just some time to relax. It's fun to be like, look at this thing I can do really good. I should probably play the game on a higher difficulty, but... Okay, so we got all these ranged guys shooting at us, so here. Let's see if I can take some of them out. Because I can't really... I mean, I guess I can try to get up to them, but... Really cumbersome on a damn horse. I suppose I could also get off my horse, but that's also no fun. Man, I think I moved slightly to the left. Ow. Okay. That hurts. I 
How did they get out there? What's happening? Where are you guys trying to run to? They're like, okay, well, if we're trying to run away, and these guys are in the castle, then I guess the best thing for us to do is retreat and leave the castle. I don't think any of these guys have been retreating out here, though. I don't think any of them trying to get out to defend the key. Oh, here they come. Just to say, at some point, I'm expecting to see some guys retreating. More gems in the chat. Catch that. Did not mean to make that rhyme. Didn't know the two-handed axe is so powerful. I mean, it is when you got it trained all the way up. And it's it's my favorite thing to use on horseback, especially the longer ones. Also, how's it going for me? Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. I'm also, this is very late game for me. I've got everything trained up really high. So it's, but uh, what I don't like about the sword is that it does the it, you know, it has like the stabbing motion option, which uh, is not good on horseback. So I really like the two hand the two hand attack. But it only has the one the one sweet attack motion, which is way stronger. It's also strong against other cavalry. What I think is funny is that we are the only ones that are allowed to be on our mount when we're uh, doing siege battles. So I just get to ride through town while everybody else is on foot. Even all of my guys. But it makes us really good at chasing down all the people that are trying to retreat. There we go. Create good bottlenecks to keep these guys from running away and getting to do that stupid heat defense fight. So far, none of them have made it back. Oh, here's a good choke point. Let's just say that, and I'm totally with you. I like how our guy is the one getting in the way there. Clearly, there's somebody I missed. maneuverability in my in my mount over speed. Um, charge damage is really nice. But, um, I, like to, I like to be able to have a good range of motion on these horses. So I can turn around easy. Okay, somebody should get up there and try to take care of these guys. Somebody that's not me. Crossbowman. Oh, no. Oh, sorry. That's what I get for stopping. As soon as I stop my horse, then I'm in trouble. Alright. We'll be fine, though. We'll heal up to about 50. And then uh, by the time we get done with the next siege, we'll be good. Um, so let's see. Here, we'll show mercy. We'll, we'll take the settlement for ourselves so we can give it to one of our own people that we upgraded from one of our clans. Um, so first we'll go to the keep and the dungeon. Take all those guys. So we're going to ransom them all. Because we need the month. I 
I don't get it. Why did you rob a bank? Because that's where they keep the money. Well, it makes sense to me. Let's see. Bonus points to anybody in the chat that knows what that uh, reference is from. We'll leave all the militia men in here. Sure. Don't need militia with us. And then as for the rest, uh, we'll just pile in a few more uh, crossbowmen. And 100 should be enough for them to defend this. Especially way out here. I don't expect this place to get attacked anytime soon. So it should be fine. Go to the tavern district, ransom all the prisoners. I don't think we really want this guy. I think we already have a couple of Acerai. Actually, maybe we don't, because we did just take over some Acerai places. Let's see. Kurzate, Sturgia, Kurzate, Empire. Sturgian, Empire, Empire, and Empire. So yeah, I take it back. We do want this guy. Ah, wine here tastes like piss. Yeah, I know. They all say that. troops and we'll do some trading hmm, horses higher melee damage against mounted troops Let's see what's he got movement speed yeah we'll do that Um, and we'll see if they have enough for all the extra stuff we have here. They do. I've been keeping up with our trading. I'll take it back. I don't want to sell that many of those. That price dropped way faster than I thought it was going to. up to 2.5. Yeah, you can see we've got a lot of stuff leveled up pretty high at this point in the game. Do our last point in scouting. And I think we're good from there. Actually, you know, our food variety is fine, so we're good there. We've got a little army forming over here. They're going to be too fast for us to keep up with. Where are they? Let's see. When we're when they're in the forest, we've got the speed advantage, but I don't know that we're gonna be able to chase them down. We can try. Oh boy. It's been a while. Wow, we did we did manage to chase them down. That's huge. Take out this last army. Oh god. I don't know, at this point, I'll just put people wherever, I suppose. Let's see. Is he mounted? No. Okay. This guy... Oh. Okay. Sure, just put him wherever. When the army's this size, it doesn't really matter. I don't usually like to do fights at night like this, but let's... Uh, too good an opportunity to pass up. I apologize for the terrible visual. Specifically want them to go after ranged guys. First. See, that, that's the big problem with fighting in the dark, is I can't even see where I'm swinging. It doesn't stop me from getting kills, but... Turns 
out that massive investment in uh, horses is paying off for me. I basically build the equivalent of uh, the Dothraki army from Game of Thrones. Off Rocky have two things in abundance horses and grass. Makes it so that uh, I can chase down armies that are a third my size. So many of my troops are cavalry, my army just moves. Faster than should be possible for, you know, an army of 1,000. Pays off in the early game, pays off in the late game. Plenty of prisoners to try to recruit. Oh, we're doing this next siege. The final siege for Valandia. Finally knocked them off the board here. We knocked Batani off the board. Now we got our second second faction that is uh, in danger here. 67 for the uh, war exhaustion, so we got plenty still to, to go before we're worried about losing anything. Still begging for peace, and I'm still saying no. This last one is 893, so good last uh, bastion here for them. Their garrison is huge, but uh, yeah, their biggest numbers are crossbowmen. Levy crossbowmen, but still. Still ground troops. And then, let's see. As far as this goes... Go ahead and let go of some of these guys near the bottom. We really don't want to recruit. So that way we can try to get these guys while we're sieging. That 61 party did get in there, but that's okay. It's okay. Probably gonna have to spend a little bit here to get the cohesion up to keep the army intact while we're putting this together, but that's all right. So again, we'll build four trebuchets. And then as soon as one gets built, we'll pull it into the reserve. Rinse and repeat until we have all four ready. Rinse and repeat. And then right about there, when we're about 
that's about when we want to go ahead and deploy the other three. And they'll all pop up right around the same. And then they will start destroying their uh, projectiles. And we just let it run until... Uh, so we're going to have to buy a little bit more cohesion. But let it run until the walls are, walls are down. Easy peasy. going on here. You guys can have mercy when uh, when your faction is done for. Be soon. Alright, and that's it. So we're looking to have both walls down and them having no uh, trebuchets or catapults or anything up. So there it is. We'll do our assault. We did wear their numbers down quite a bit from all that too. So it's good. We're, we've got double their numbers now. Our party's also healed from the previous fight, from all the, the uh, wounded troops we had. So now, in we go. Attack! Now they're gonna have a lot of ranged guys. So we, we will take some casualties, I have no doubt about that, but the point is to try to keep it to a minimum here. We're just trying to break the, the bottleneck here, trying to get our guys into the city. And also, picking out the ranged guys is also a good practice. Guys that are just running around. Stops that we take the most damage. As long as we're moving, we're a hard target to hit. Harder anyway. Uh oh, this is not. Where am I going? Okay, turning back around. I've gotten lost in the city I'm trying to take over. Where are you going? To the grave, apparently. Well, no, he's wounded. He's gonna be a prisoner. He's gonna get deleted. Well, that's what happens when you run into the prison. Those troops are just gone for a And these guys appear to be running, so let's go chase them down. I prefer to not let any of them get back to the keep, but there goes one. Maybe one has made it. up on something there. There we go. I got one of their leaders. These guys are chasing after some... Oh, no, come over here. These guys appear to be fleeing. You know, so let's chase them down. Outside, I don't want to understand. No, I was about to say, like, oh no, they're up there. That's why. Yeah, some of these guys, though, are, are outside. 
because that's funny when they retreat outside the team. They're like, okay, we're gonna reposition. They're all inside. They're all inside the keep now, so let's retreat outside of the castle. Technically, that, that does sort of make some sense, but also not. Yes, but also not. guys get in the way go kill the guys that are fighting I will handle the guys that are running oh my god there's, there's a bunch of them couldn't get them all but I think we got most of them down with my uh, horse. So close. They almost touched base. Yeah, four. Plus, even if those two did make it back, that is not going to be enough. We have one. Valandia is no more. Officially. Last guy. Oh, there he is. Come here, you. Where are you going? I guess there's one more somewhere. It does not show on my map. Somewhere under here. Okay. In here? So, what, what is happening? I see. That's where he is. I don't think I can hit him through that. Let's see if I can push my way in here. About, about some air. Somebody killed him. Man. So we lost 26, but you know we can we can live with that. I feel like those numbers are balanced in comparison to what we what we took. And you can see now, Valandia is no more. So we've got all of these, uh, all of these notifications of, you know, all these dens, um, all these days going to war with us. But those are the individual clans of Valandia that have now been split up because Valandia is no more. And there it is. Love it. So this will stay up here until we save and reload. Um, but that's okay. That's fine. Uh, here we will show mercy because we've got plenty of room in our party morale. And we'll go ahead and take the castle or the town. And we're good there. So I'm going to take a little break. Uh, we're going to actually restart here and uh, we're going to call this a break in episodes as well. So if you guys are watching this on YouTube, um, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.